Hey, what's up guys? It's Jameson Wolf here from Jameson Wolf Fitness Systems. Today I wanted to show you a new interface that I'm using uh, for my clients and for my business. It is a 3D anatomy chart that we can use to look at real-time 3D images of the skeleton as well as the skeletal muscle, the nervous system, the endocrine system, the soft tissue like the ligaments and the tendons, and also the digestive system as well, which is really, really cool. So basically how it works is that I have an iPad and I'm using the 3D Anatomy app and using AirPlay to get it onto the screen. So when my clients come in, they can basically see exactly what muscle groups that are I am relating according to their bodies and with according to the exercises that they're doing. And so how it works is using the iPad, uh, we can zoom in and if you can't see the screen quite on the video, I will do a close up shot of the screen just to show you. But basically I can move on, move around, it's a really nice smooth interface and I can zoom up to certain bones and joints and you can see at specific parts. We can basically add layers of skeletal muscle to the actual uh, skeletal frame here uh, and just go by the different, different depths and layers of those muscle fibers. So for instance here we can look at the infraspinatus here, um, at the external rotator cuff and we can rotate around and go zoom up right into the glenoid fossa joint and look exactly at what we're looking at. This is really, really helpful for clients that suffer from shoulder impingements or shoulder injuries because I can literally go in a 3D view and show them exactly what I'm talking about regarding their, uh, for instance, their external rotation cuff tear or sprain. Uh, so looking at here, supraspinatus, you can see where an impingement may happen between the AC joint and the upper humeral head. Uh, also, we can add different layers of connective tissue as well as look at the venous system. So for instance, I'm going to add on the nervous system here and by doing that, it's going to load and then we can actually see the specific nerve fibers that we're talking about. People that suffer from sciatica might want to see the sciatic nerve down here by the gluteal muscles right that runs uh, posterior to the pelvis and by doing this we can show that the piriformis runs over top of that nerve and how if the piriformis uh, is pinching it at all that that may be a cause to their sciatica and that's why they have shooting pain down the leg or low back pain and which is really cool. Now what is also cool about this app is I can highlight the specific muscle that I want to show them. I can also see some information on it as well as I can get them to talk. Okay, so I can actually get them to uh, the computer to pronounce the word so they know how to say it as well. Uh, it's a really cool app and I do recommend this for my clients too if they are trying to learn more about their bodies and uh, anatomy in general. Um, so then again we can look at the connective tissue system so I'm just going to select connective tissue and we can do about two different uh, body systems or body layers at a time and then the interface is still quite smooth. So for instance here I do now have the connective tissue showing so let's zoom into the shoulder here right about there and we can see different bursa sacs that are between the, the joints between the bones and the muscle fibers themselves and show them that as well. And if they have a specific ligament tear, I can show them which ligament and how that correlates to the joint or the, uh, the bone. So it's a really cool interface that I can use for my clients, and so I wanted to show that with you guys today. All right, bye. Hey guys, another really cool app that I have that I use for the iPad and for showing my clients different things are the orthopedic app uh, by the 3D Anatomy people. Now, basically what this allows me to do is to show a client a previous treatment that they've had or surgery or one that might be in their best interest. For instance, if we want to show somebody a hip replacement getting an artificial hip joint with acetabulum, there are different 3D videos that I can show them to kind of give an idea of what kind of procedure that they would go under. For instance, we can show one here um, which is an arthroplasty of the hip. Okay. And this is where they literally cut out the acetabulum joint, the ball socket joint, and they replace it with artificial materials such as titanium and different plastics to uh, basically replicate the joint itself. 
So here you can see that they have deterioration of the cartilage around the acetabulum joint and they drill the holes and they add in the titanium pieces. Just like that. And I will add a little bit of a video on the side of this just so you can see a closer up view and that might be a bit smoother too for the uh, interface to show. So through this we can also see different procedures and different conditions as well. So for instance, we can go into the conditions part of this application and we can look at uh, a vascular necrosis, which is basically when certain tissues get a lack of capillary uh, oxygen, or I should say they lack blood flow to that certain area so the tissues, the surrounding tissues, tend to die because lack of oxygen and nutrients are getting to them, uh, which is really cool. We can see other things like bursitis, which is inflammation of the bursa sacs within certain joints over gliding surfaces. Um, we can also look at different spinal issues, whether it has to be uh, spondylosis, uh, stenosis, we can look at herniated discs, we can also look at specific surgeries where they can actually, if we have a, uh, a pinched nerve or a pinched spinal cord, where they can actually cut a chunk out of that vertebral, uh, one of the vertebrae, and they can relieve that pressure off from the nerve to relieve any kind of um, a localized or a, a trigger point areas where pain is irradiating to somewhere else in the body. So it's very, very interesting what sort of applications I can use this for for my clients and for clients to have this on their own iPhone or Apple devices to see, to learn about their own body and other treatments as well. So it's just really, really fascinating stuff. All right, bye-bye. Soft tissue organs in the body repair injury through a multi-step process that begins as platelets from torn vessels work to form a mesh-like clot that prevents blood loss. Inflammation in the area occurs as tissue repair begins in the damaged area. Mast cells release histamine that dilates blood vessels and increases blood flow to the repair site. White blood cells, called neutrophils, and macrophages work to consume bacteria and remove damaged tissue and debris. As bacteria and dead cells are removed, the proliferative phase of wound healing begins. Fibroblasts build new tissue by secreting collagen that takes the shape of the original tissue. During remodeling, the final phase of wound healing, the tissue created by the fibroblasts matures and regains its normal function.